all right all right yeah 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 what's up what's good it is your boy bq impact lounge you already know but it's the number one place to be for the impact wrestling fan i'm here with a reaction to the lady frost versus impact wrestling situation now i didn't drop anything on this earlier not that i've been doing a lot of daily content anyway but or this kind of content but I didn't do anything earlier because we always know that there's going to be additional facts that come aboard. Now, what we do know is that Lady Frost has requested her release from Impact Wrestling. And apparently it has been it has been denied. What we also know is that we all like Lady Frost. We're all fans of Lady Frost. She's made, a, you know, she made one appearance on Impact, did the job to Deanna. I thought they should have... Uh, you know, sign Susie slippers from the street to come in and do a, a job. Not so much bring in someone as talented as her. Cause I didn't think that was much of a trial match, but what the hell do I know? Uh, but they ended up bringing her back. People were really into her. You know, I, I saw her do some stuff with NWA that I liked quite a bit. And, you know, I'd, I'd mentioned many times that I really felt she was a much better heel, but the impact fans liked her. Uh, and she was a very natural baby face with them. Had some really good opportunities at, uh, at titles, knockouts, titles, triple A championship and the, uh, the ring of honor one, you know, uh, she had, she had opportunity, had some good matches. They put some, you know, effort into her entrance. It was a little different than everybody else's. They needed to work on it a little, but you know, they made, they made the attempt to do the, you know, she blows the handful of snow or whatever it is. So, but we all like lady frost. So it was pretty shocking everyone when she, you know, announced on Twitter. She didn't announce it on Twitter. We, we knew that she had... Re no, I think she did announce on Twitter. I'm sorry. Because this was several months ago. But a couple days ago, what I was referencing... Uh, and we already talked about the tweet on the cool factor that uh, she was talking about. You know, she worded it in the form of relationships. That if someone doesn't care about your health, doesn't, uh, you know, provide for you adequately, financially... Um, is that a relationship you want to keep? Now, a few people kind of smart to the situation was like, I think she's talking about impact. And then the majority of the comments were like, oh yeah, you know, I was in this relationship and I was with this guy and this, you know, I was with this girl, but people knew where she was kind of going with it. And, um, I think immediately people really started taking her side. I know I did. Um, and I didn't know impact was actually going to release, you know, their side of the story and they did. And now I'm kind of, you know, I can see both sides. And as cliche as that sounds, because it is cliche, the truth is somewhere in the middle. We know this. That is uh, one of the most proven facts in this world. You just got to, you know, think of the two sides, put something in the middle. Uh, so Impact denied the release. And one of the big sticking points in this whole thing was she was talking about, you know, I did work for them. WrestleMania weekend in Dallas, uh, but they didn't provide for me uh, travel. And there were some other expenses she talked about, but you know what? The one that stood out was they didn't provide the travel in the hotel. You know, and Impact basically came forward, and and I I see this side of it like she was already booked for promotions that weekend, and she's not exclusive to Impact. So why are they going to provide travel to somewhere she's already going? So that sounds like it's a miscommunication between the two. I think this all boils down to poor communication. That's that's for me looking at it and saying I'm, I'm, I'm judging this from somewhere in the middle. I think there's some poor communication and some poor listening. Well, I guess listening is part of communication. There was some, you know, just two-way communication that I think didn't go well. And, you know, she paid out of her pocket, but she were not already working those matches. And we thought there was a storyline, oh, you you know, you're going to team with Giselle Shaw and this and this and this. So we're thinking, okay, they're going to do some kind of, you know, frenemy type of storyline. And that, that wasn't it. And I thought the two of them actually stood out <laughs> at the show and during the match. Like, I thought they worked great as a team. Uh, but that's not, you know, ultimately where they ran with it. And then she said the company had no plans for her. She had uh, a procedure scheduled. Um, that I, I believe she's recovered from or recovering from, but that there was no plans for her. But I get it from the impact side. Like we don't know exactly when you're coming back. So 
you know, even though Rob Frost was like, okay, I'll be ready around Slammiversary, so we'll, we got Slammiversary covered. We got it handled. You know, the, these matches are already taking place. So, um, again, I think it comes down to communication between the two sides. And clarity on how the contract is structured and, and, and what they will cover, what they won't cover. We know that people in Impact wear a lot of hats, so I don't know how strong the talent relations of things, the talent relations side of things are. But I will say this: we haven't had this kind of situation in a while, where someone's like, "I need out of my contract with Impact, or with TNA." So it seems like some good business has been has been done. So we got we got to think: okay, this is kind of an isolated incident as far as. You know what's been going on over the past several years. Like it just seems like good things are happening over there. Communication, communication. I, I just, I really think it boils down to that. But on impact side as well, it's not. You know, I'm not saying oh, Lady Frost has a lack of understanding what her contract states. That's not what I'm saying at all. But these contracts, you know, people. Are, oh, why, why would she want out of her contract? The impacts give you a chance. Like yo, these per appearance contracts. I've been put up on game here a little bit recently. Like, these contracts aren't shit. If you feel, you know, it's really beneficial for me to be part of this company, um, to get a little exposure that might, you know, someone else might see me, a bigger company, or whatever the case. Everyone has their reasons. Some people are just happy probably working a TV product. But she's freaking talented, folks. She's good. She's good as shit. She doesn't need impact. If I'm being honest, you know, she, she's going to do really good things in the wrestling industry. I'm sure NWA would take her back. She could probably do MLW fairly easily. Um, I say take her back NWA. I don't believe she's ever signed there, but I mean, she, they would, they would book her, you know, um, she could continue to work on dark. That's more exposure than, than impact. If we're just being real. So, you know, for us, it's going to be fine. I think Impact just needs to let her go. If she doesn't want to be there, then they just got to let her go. Plain and simple. Um, instead of, of fighting it, I know we don't want to get into that habit of, oh, we're just letting people go when they ask to. I mean, this hasn't happened in a while. This is a pretty isolated incident. She doesn't want to be there. Your contracts are bullshit as far as per appearance. You're going to keep her under contract for two years or whatever it is and pay her nothing. Like, you're pretty much paying her nothing anyway. Let her move on with her career. Uh, go make some money. Go get some exposure. And just let's put this behind us, you know. That, that's the way I kind of look at it rather than trying to play hardball. But I, I don't know if, you know, I don't know from the talent relations side if they're, they're really, like, clear with her on things. Or maybe she didn't understand. Like, we don't we don't really know. But the truth is somewhere in the middle, and I, I, I do agree. Things like Dallas, if she's already booked, I, I don't see why they should cover the travel. Now, if they're not covering the travel for their own bookings, and they're supposed to, I get that. And then from a creative standpoint, you just can't shoehorn people in there. Uh, the knockouts division is the one thing that's booked pretty decently. But you just got to give them some time. You know, like, okay, now that we know you're coming back, Let's see if we can factor you in this way. But they agreed to let her out of her deal if she did the job for Masha. And right now that seems to be up in the air. Like she didn't work that set of tapings they wanted her to do. So now just things are appear to be up in the air. Maybe she didn't want to do that job. But leave your thoughts in the comments, folks. I think right now it's a, it's a little bit of a black eye on the company. I just don't think they have the room for any... Um, Negativity and the anti-impact world is always going to take the side of the, the side of the wrestler, even though they don't watch the product. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. What you think they should do, who or what what you think um, is going on? Is it something in the middle? Do you believe impact? Do you believe frost? They're not, you know, it's not total polar opposite what they're saying. You can just tell there's a communication breakdown in my opinion. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm your boy BQ. I'm out. Peace.